Well, hello friends. I have not been on Facebook to do cooking in a while. It's, it's been a while. So I'm here, I'm excited to be here. I'm Dr. Nancy Stanley, physical therapist, life and health coach. And I'm gonna share something with you. Some of y'all that have been in my challenge already have this little secret, but I'm gonna share it with you. So what I'm about to do, I'm taking some pecans. Now, I call them pecans, but you may call them pecans. My daddy called them pecans, but he grew up in Atlanta. But I grew up in South Georgia, so we call them pecans. Hey, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Ann. I've missed doing my cooking videos, but you know, when COVID came, I started doing the exercise videos because I knew people were at home, they weren't moving a lot, they weren't getting out a lot, so I started to do started doing the exercise videos. But I, I miss doing the cooking, and things change too, you know. So, uh, but I want to start doing those again. So, I, I, this is kind of what I'm, I'm doing what I do. So, today I toasted some pecans, and I thought, you know, people would love to have this recipe. So, hold on, let me get my, um, let me get my spoons because this is what I use. Okay, so I need some salt. You can tell I'm a little rusty from doing these cooking videos. All right, so here's what you do. This is a step-by-step. -step. You turn your oven on 375, okay? And you let it get to temperature. And then you have your pecans ready. Make sure you get all the little things out between them. Now, Hope, if Hope Murphy is on here, she's gonna know uh, it is pecans. Yeah, it is pecans she would be able to tell you what the name of that little stuff is that gets in those cracks. But I looked all of these, that's what my mama would call it. Look, we spread a sheet out on the table and we picked through them and we pulled the, you know, I had a crack, so I pulled the shell out and, you know, so here they are. So I put them on this baking pan and I put them, uh, so I turned the oven on 375, got it at 375, then turn it off. Turn it off and then put your, pecans in there. Yeah. Your pecans. Your pecans in there. Okay. And leave them for, you might be like me. Sometimes I leave them overnight. I forget about them. Just don't turn your oven back on to preheat something else. But so leave them in there and they'll, they'll brand, they'll toast perfectly. And then I'm going to, this is melted butter. It's about three tablespoons in a quart of pecans. Okay, this is a quart of pecan. And I'm just gonna put this butter over it like that. You see that? And then I've got my little salt. I don't know what you call this. Somebody tell me what you call it. It's the thing I love keep my little salt in. So I'm probably putting about, oh, I don't know, uh, a teaspoon of salt on all of that. Yep, that's what I'm doing. All right, now here is uh, you can do this two ways. You can just right there start stirring that up with your spoons. I take two spoons and I just kind of stir them like that, okay? And, or you can make sweetened pecans and you're like, well, I thought you didn't eat sugar. I don't eat sugar, but I do. I found this little gem. It's called monk fruit sweetener. And this is the golden variety. So here it is. I've got about a fourth a cup of that. Now, what got me onto this is these Trader Joe's candy pecans. But let me tell you what's in these, okay? All right, here's the ingredients. Pecans, powdered sugar, cane sugar, tapioca starch, and canola oil. None of that do I want except the pecans, okay? And this has... Let's see how many sugars, how much sugar. Four sugars in a fourth of a cup. Okay, so if I'm going to snack on nuts, which, you know, I, I do from time to time. I don't do that. We don't, we don't really snack in, in my program. But um, if I was going to do that, uh, you know, I would probably eat eight or ten of them. Okay, but I don't want all that sugar. 
So you take this monk fruit sugar and you sprinkle it over it along with that butter. And honestly, I don't even need this much. I think I've got about a fourth of a cup. So, well actually that was about a half a cup. So I think about a fourth of a cup. And that butter is gonna make that sugar stick to the nuts. So you see, I'm just kind of scooping it up like that. And because it's warm and the butter's melted, all of this is gonna stick to, stick to the nuts. And they're gonna be like, uh, hey Katrina, thank you for joining me. Yeah, I don't think I've seen you on here before. Um, so there you go. Now here is a finished batch. And I'm just gonna tell you, they're pretty close Maybe not quite as sweet, which is okay with me. They're pretty close to these Trader Joe's and not nearly as expensive. And especially when you pick up your own nuts and have them crack and crack them out yourself. Nuts or pecans are really abundant this year. So the price is going to be lower. If you can go to the cracker and buy them from the cracker, you're going to pay a lot less and then it's just kind of fun to sit around the table and get the nuts out get the meat out and but just make sure now you know the best way to have them is when they're just roasted so good I think I'm actually going to put a little more of this monk fruit on here and this is just brown sugar I'm not going to call it brown sugar I'm just going to call it the sweetener, golden sweetener, it's not sweet, okay? And if you wanted to, you could maybe put a little more butter. I put like three tablespoons on a quart of pecans. But if you want a little more butter or a little more sweetener, then, you know, suit yourself. But this is, this is kind of how we like them. Like I said, I don't want them so sweet because I don't want to stir up that sweet tooth, you know? But I do want them kind of sweet. Okay, so... Before you leave, I want to tell you what I'm going to be talking about tomorrow night. So you, you want to join me. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Sharon. Good to see you. Okay. So I'm doing some research on Alzheimer's. I've been doing it now really for two or three months. I'm reading some books. I'm following some doctors. And the reason is because my mother died with Alzheimer's. Two out of three people that have Alzheimer's are women. Two out of three. So, I don't know about you, but I want to know everything I can to prevent it. And what we know now is it is a disease of 30 and 40 year olds. The symptoms manifest themselves later in, at 70 and 80, the memory issues. But what they know now is the changes start occurring at 30 and 40. And I'm 64, okay? So I want to do everything I can to combat it. So tomorrow night, I'm going to talk about what stress does to your brain. I'm going to talk, I'm going to give you the five best ways to reduce stress. I'm going to give you some real practical tips. I gave one of these tips to two of my clients today. A girl that I just met with and just signed her up for my program. And, um, and then one of my coaching clients. And both of them said, oh my gosh, I feel so relaxed. So it's kind of magical, but it's literally physiological. So share this video, invite your friends, hit the notification button so you'll know when I go live. So I'm, I'm going to go live tomorrow night and do this teaching. It's probably going to be over the next three nights that I'm going to do this teaching about how stress affects your brain. So I know tomorrow night, Thursday, I may do it Thursday during the day, but you'll catch it. You'll be able to catch the replay. So yes, unaddressed stress at 30 and 40 kills at 50 to 70. Yes. Okay. Hey, that's Matthew. Yeah. All right. So I want to, I want to teach you some tips, five ways to reduce stress. And they're more than that, but that's just some very easy practical tips okay so join me thanks for joining me tonight and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be cooking again because I love to cook I love to show you these little tips 
okay? So we'll see you tomorrow.